Hi guys, in today's video, we'll recreate an effect we did for one of our latest projects at Tambien, Rose Island. And it's going to be a scrolling effect. And to do it, we'll use Chizap, Scroll Trigger, and Split Text. So let's go. All right, so let's go. For the moment, we have a simple page on Webflow. So we have only one section uh, with our text inside. Uh, we have some CSS, but it's only to set up the fluid responsive so that our font scales uh, nicely, nicely with our page. And I also um, set up a template that we use that allow us to import some JavaScript into our published website without having to use the Webflow uh, basic code editor. And if you want to follow along or use this template, I already made a video about it and I'm going to put it in the description so you can uh, check it and, and follow along. So yeah, let's go. So to create the animation, we are going to use GZAP and we are going to use three plugins. We'll use scroll trigger to create the scrolling animation, a split text to divide our text into multiple divs elements, and we'll use scroll smoother, kind of a, um, a, as a bonus because it's always a bit nicer to have a, a smooth scroll and a nice smooth experience. And since Scroll Smoother and Split Text are paying plugins. We need to install GZAP um, a bit differently than uh, we would do normally. So the first thing we need to do is to subscribe to it, to uh, the club green. And then in the documentation, they explain everything. But basically, we need to download a zip file that I already downloaded. Inside that folder, there is a file called gzapbonus.tgz. And we need to move that file into our template folder. So very easy. And once that is done, we can copy this line of code, go to our terminal and paste it. Just like that. So now let's start it again. Let's refresh. No error. Everything is still working. Um, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to import all of the plugins right now so that I don't have to uh, bother uh, later on um, in the video. So as I said, we need three plugins, scroll trigger, scroll smoother and split text. And I'm going to paste, copy and paste it to save some time. Yeah, perfect. So I'm importing GZAP, scroll trigger, scroll smoother, split text. And then I need to register those plugins uh, with this line of code. So if I save, still no error, we can move on and set up our smooth scroll. And to do that, we need to add two wrappers, two divs, one with the class of smooth wrapper and a second one inside the first one with the class of smooth content. And now we can move our content inside those wrappers. So let's publish. Let's add a height to our section as well so that we can scroll and see if everything is working. So yep, let's publish. Let's wait again. Let's publish again. And now we can um, set up our smooth scroll. And to do that, we can do scroll smoother.create, open some curly brackets and then say wrapper. So it's my, my element with the class of smooth wrapper content smooth content I can set the smooth value to one and I can change the value on touching devices by using smooth touch and I'm going to use 0 0.1 uh, because I, I I just think it's a bit nicer when uh, the value is lower than on on this so let's save and let's see it's working. So we have our smooth scroll. Um, I went a bit fast because that's not really the point of the video. But uh, as you can see, it's really easy to set up and scroll smoother is, is really nice. We actually used it for a lot of different projects uh, at Tambien. So yeah, we, we like it a lot. OK, so let's move on to the uh, animation. So the first step to this animation is to divide our text into words. And to do that, we'll use split text. And I'm going to start by creating a variable 
uh, I'm going to call it text, but you can call it whatever you want. And I can say new split text. And I need to pass the class of my text element. So like that, open some curly brackets. Up. And I can change the type. And I'm going to say lines to show you how it's working. And I can divide it. I can divide my text by lines. So we can see that we have the first one, third one, fourth one, and the last one. I can change it to words. And we can see now that my text is divided by words and by uh, letters by using chars. And we can see that it's a bit messed up. My line breaks are all, um, yeah, are all broken. And I can change the position to absolute up to fix this. And it, it looks like it's working fine, but the problem is that if I'm resizing my page, my text is not moving. So I don't have a workaround for that. So uh, I would just suggest not to use it or to find a, a better solution. But we don't mind because we are going to use words and words is working just fine. Okay, so now that we divided our um, text element into different words, we can set up our scroll trigger animation. And let's just change this. Let's just create a small animation to make sure everything is working. Let's publish that and then we'll do some tweaking after. So let's say cheese up, let's say from. So I want to animate this. All right. I want to animate the opacity. So I want, uh, I want my element to start from an opacity of zero. And so my trigger element is going to be my, my text element. I want it to start when the top of my element is at the bottom of my page and I want it to end um, let's say bottom bottom and top top yeah let's so we the animation will start when the bottom of the element is at the bottom of the page and it will end when the top is at the top Do that bottom bottom and top top. I want my animation to be linked to the scroll position, so I can say scrub true, and I think it should be working. So we don't have any error, and yes, yeah, so it's working fine. Okay, so that was the first step. That's cool. So now maybe let's say I want to set up my sticky uh, animation. So since we are using scroll smoother, we cannot set our content wrapper to a sticky position. So to do that, we can use pin and say content wrapper like that. Like that, content wrapper. But we cannot use it like that because my animation is starting when this is at the bottom. So maybe what I can do is do that and use my section as a trigger element. And then I want my animation to start when the top of my section is at the top. Like that. And I want it to end when the bottom is at the bottom looking good like that I think let's save still no error and yeah so now my text is animating from an opacity of zero and it's scrolling as we are scrolling the page so it's good so the last thing we need to do is that we want to animate every word instead of the whole text and to do that I can change the selector right there and I can set it to text dot words and if i save it won't work oh. well there's no difference and it's because every word are animating at the same time so i can add stagger and i can say maybe one i don't know 
and let and let's refresh and yeah and it's working but let's just change the opacity from 0 to 0 0.15 um let's maybe change the easing maybe let's say none and yeah and just like that we have our final animation um i hope everything was clear um if you have any question don't hesitate to ask me in the in the in the comment or on twitter i hope you like the video see ya